When utilizing FlexApp, the first step is to capture the application that you would want to use. First, we're going to hit Create. Give the application a name. In this case, we're doing Visual Studio Code. Give it a version number. Possibly a description. You can actually skip the installer location. This is optional. Disk type, location of where the application is going to go. Select if you want a FlexApp 1 or not. In this case, we are going to select that. And leave all the defaults of high compatibility, size of disk, and expandability. In creating the volume, you will see that a directory is created and a VHDX is created for you. When you are ready to install your said software, select Start. This will prepare the system for capture of your Flex app. Now that the system is ready, install your software as you normally would. All services, drivers, reg key, scheduled tasks, etc. will be captured as part of that recording procedure. Now the software is installing. Once that install is complete, you can go back and edit the registry, edit the file system, or any other components within the Windows operating system that you need to modify. This install is now done. I'm going to select Finish, and I'm going to finish the installation as well. This is going to consume the differential changes of the application that was just installed. It will also compact the volume that the application was installed on, as well as create a FlexApp 1 application. The FlexApp console will attempt to remove the application from the operating system. However, it is still recommended to roll back your image to a previous state or use the built-in system state rollback within the packaging console software. Now that the application is completed, we can go to our inventory and see that the application for Visual Studio Code has been added. The next step you might take is to create a filter. If you already have a filter or are going to assign this application to all users, you can skip this step. I'm going to give the filter a name. I'm going to utilize a pre-existing group and add. I can also add other conditions if I see fit. Save. Go into my configuration. Select the FlexApp module. Select Add FlexApp Rule. Find that application I just created. Apply my filter. And now I have a couple options. I can make this application a click to layer, which is an on-demand application that attaches to the operating system when I need it. Cache blocks locally, which is an ability to cache the blocks local to the system as they are being accessed. And cache all blocks locally, which is also going to grab the blocks as accessed, as well as caching the remainder of the blocks in the background. Today, we're just going to use the direct attach. Now that that application rule set is applied, Update your configuration and deploy your configuration out. Now you are ready to log on to your system and get the applications that have been assigned. The profile Unity splash screen will appear in just a moment. Now this is going to load not only your Flex apps, which load in the background, but it will also load all of your applications policy settings, virtual volumes, and any other items that you might have configured within Profile Unity. The amount of applications that you assign to your user does not slow the login down. Now that I have my desktop, you can see that I have some applications that already exist. Chrome, Adobe Acrobat, and VLC Layer. These are applications that I've assigned to this workstation via boot. 
The remainder of the applications are processing in the background and will become available in just a moment. There they are. Now the application that I just sequenced of Visual Studio Code is now right there. Now all it is is a matter of just double clicking the application and using it like any other application that may be installed on my operating system. And that is going from sequencing an application in FlexApp all the way to delivering that application to the desktop.